So let's look at the current problem here. Um, you see, I claim that this problem you can solve by using um, the integration by part. And just let you know, please don't make the bad mistake that you can integrate the product term by term. For example, if you tell me you can integrate it term by term like this, and cosine x integral becomes uh, sine x, then it's totally wrong. The fact is that if we differentiate this one, which is a product, 100%, we cannot get back this one. So um, there's no reason why this answer must be correct, right? And um, let's forget about this. So to solve this problem by using integration by part, uh, please take a look at the left-hand side. Um, I want to make it look like u times dv for our current problem. So um, it means that there's a choice of u you have to make, right? Maybe you can make the u be x, maybe you can make the u be maybe cosine x. Um, it seems that you have more than one choice. And most of the time, your choice actually matters whenever you apply the integration by parts formula. And usually when you do more exercises, when you have the experience, um, you're able to identify the choice of u and dv that you need to use for a certain kind of problem. And for this case, I claim that the u is x, dv is the remaining term. And we can write it down as follow, u is x and dv is cosine x times dx. And now you see, what you need to do is you have to write down du because you, please look at the right hand side. We need to know what is u, what is v, what is v, what is du, right? So I need to get all these four items after making the assumption of u and dv. And the du is actually a differentiation of x. So it becomes 1 for after differentiation with respect to variable x, 1 times dx. And from dv to v, from dv to v, it's actually integration, right? So because you are trying to reverse the process uh, from dv, which is differential of v, back to the original function v, so it means we have to integrate uh, cosine x, which is uh, sine x. Now uh, it's good that we have all four items, so we can apply the formula now. And let's try to plug in all the corresponding variable correspondingly. So uh, u is x, and v is sine x. And v actually here is uh, sine x again, and du is actually uh, 1 times dx, which is dx. Now uh, please take a look at the current formula. So you see, uh, I claim that um, the method of integration by part is so helpful in this problem because originally we don't know how to integrate this problem. But after applying the integration by part one time, we get the second term on the right hand side an easier integral than the original problem, right? Because uh, everybody knows how to integrate sine x. Um, so I write the answer down. The answer is x times sine x and uh, minus open bracket minus cosine x, close bracket. Of course, at the end, you can add the constant c to represent your answer in that way. So uh, essentially, that's our final answer to this problem. And I can tell you that if you use the wrong choice of u and dv, you are not going to work this problem out. And in the next video, we'll look at more exercises.